Morning, I swear a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Library of Runa. So, we're here. We are here. It's time for the Magical Girl realization. It's time for the realization of the floor of natural sciences, which is going to be a pain. I can tell it's going to be a pain. It's going to be a nuisance, and I've attempted to build accordingly to make this work. Now, everyone's going to hate it, but uh, guess what? I don't care. First off, Tifrith has the um, modified deck that Melissa gave me that I have done this way. I think it'll work well. She's very good with pierced decks, it seems to be. Uh, and it just generally seemed quite effective last time, so we're going to do it again. So Worlds is more interesting, and by more interesting, I mean more annoying for everyone. This is Sir Worlds. <laughs> it is one I have affectionately nicknamed Slash and Burn, though more focus on Slash than Burn, to be honest, but... There are some decisions here. Now, three unlocks. I don't know if that's a good idea, really. I was chucking over in my head over and over again, but I figured I'm doing a, um, a realization, right? These are long form engagements where you get to five emotion levels, like two, maybe three abnormalities in, at which point, you know, dice, uh, light gain and card draw starts to become a real issue. So having three unlock threes, which provide light and page draw, would probably be quite handy. I don't know, maybe, at the very least, the first slash will gain some power, like what, two? But we'll get to the passives in a minute. We won't sharpen blade for the uh, power boost, flow of the sword because it will be helpful towards the end of the battle, burning flash because it goes really well with singular strike, and is worth doing an emotional turbulence because it's great. As for passives, I went dark cloud blade for the extra slash, dice power, bomb deal, and stacking the deck for working with burning flash because that does count as discarding, apparently. I would have added something else, but I'm not allowed, so this is all I've got. I might have added, like, the one we get. No, nah, I was gonna say the one we get HP for discarding, but I think that's a three cost, so it wouldn't work anyway. Point is, this is the best I got, so this is what we're gonna be running with. I don't know if this will be good. I essentially made it by taking good ideas from the Discord server and then making it into my own bad idea. So we'll see how effective it is in the long run. Rene has, you know, you've seen this deck, you know what it is. Esther's one. They've got it. Faye uh, is also a little interesting, I suppose. I went for a hybrid singleton Lou punchy deck, basically. Given a Mai's page and Cecile's appearance because someone else has Mai's appearance. And yeah, basically a singleton focus with Frontal Assault, All Out War, Multi Slash, Violent Flame, which looks really good, Flow of the Sword, Will of the Prescripts for that card draw, that sweet, sweet card draw. Yeah, these two can provide light. That will cost less at the end of the battle. Emotional Turbulence for the extra power on emotion levels. Tishanko because... Tishankal, beg your pardon. Because, oh, uh, it's so cool and I want to use it. And Fervent Emotions because apparently it's fantastic and also gains power at later emotion levels. So we'll be gaining a permanent two, plus two power towards the end of the battle. But that's not even taking passives into consideration. I have Furious Fire ending the skies for the extra potential for burn. Locks Potential so we can get an additional power boost once we've used enough unique cards, an easygoing breather to lower the cost of said cards, which I think will be quite useful. For example, for further emotions, maybe get that down to a three, that'd be nice, but Tishan Kao can go down to two. Violent Flame could be free, Flow of the Sword could be free. Potential. I don't know if these are good ideas. I have tried to build more towards long form engagement. I don't know if it'll work, we'll see. Gerardo Pippi has our Nikolai's page, and I basically all I did was add two leaps because, yeah, card draw was a serious problem, which I did mention multiple times, but never did anything about. Now I've done something about it, so it will really, it'll just be a case of doing the math, checking Nikolai's charge, and making sure that charge does not drop below 11. We can do that. I think we're fine. Now, it would be preferable to keep them at 20 for maximum crash, but we do need card draw. So, it goes backwards and forwards, really. If I had a decent method for um, card draw that didn't involve spending charge, I would use it, but the only one I can think of would be Will of the Prescripts. And that might... I don't know, I guess it's possible. I could go Singleton Charge. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I fucked this up. I'm pretty sure this is going to make people cry, but I actually don't care. I think I've done this okay. I've changed this page now to be a singleton one so that we can get the card draw from Will of the Prescript and also uh, light from Multi Slash with unlock as well, which means we'll have plenty of opportunities to restore light and draw pages, which will be very helpful towards the end of the fight. Towards this end, single point stabs where we always have something to play. Raise the grass for light and charge. Combat preparation for endurance for everyone. Bulky impact for charge. Battle Command for buffing everyone and Concentration for Charge. We have three Charge cards. 
buff cards, light and cards, withdrawing cards, buff cards, a card to play if I've got nothing else. It seems like it'll be good. I don't know if it'll actually be good, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Worst case scenario, I lose and have to fire again, and I can see what was wrong. I can see what doesn't work, and I can try and change it accordingly. But I'm really trying to think long term on this one. Now, I haven't taken the abnormality pages into consideration at all, but there is blessings or bonuses to piercing. Blades Wed by Teardrops would be useful for pierce attacks. But it's mainly about winning clashes, it seems. Companion could be really useful, actually. So, Companion, Blades Wetted by Teardrops, Love, and, I don't know, most of the King of Greed stuff, really, will be quite handy. But let's see how this goes. we still got some story to go through first. So, things are going well. I mean, Tifrith has been quite contemplative the entire time, it seems. She was much less contemplative in uh, Lokko. I can understand that. Things have changed over the years. Basically, you need to have an idea of where you want to go, what you want to do, what you want from life, even if it's something as simple as, oh, I want a happy life, I want to do something I enjoy. Something that simple, it may seem vague and pointless, but having a, such a goal in mind can give you the motivation required to attempt to make it happen. You know, these are things. We can at least try to make things become better tomorrow. That's a good mentality. You have a Roland's old and busted and <laughs> cynical. Yeah. Well, it's hard to logic and fathom your way around something if you just straight up don't understand it. No, oh no, I was about to, just, <laughs> I was about to sing Revengeance, but that's rules of nature, not laws of nature. Laws of nature! Well, yeah. But that's why, I don't know, that's why I don't do things with the world as such a vague and pointless term into consideration. I take people into consideration, certainly, but I'm not like, every time I put up a video, I'm gonna change the world. I'm like, I put up a video because I want to, and it makes some people happy. And that's enough motivation for me. It's not what you're meant to do, Roland. Also, you'll keep bumping into things because you can't see. Yeah, like moths. You're a moth. So don't call me a moth. It's because your eyes closed. Open your eyes, Roland. It is. It's funny because Roland is such a relatable main character, but it's it's always nice to have these situations where I'm like, nah, I agree with the Sephira, and I definitely agree with Tifrith. I wouldn't have agreed with Tifrith, say, eight years ago, because I was a cynical little bastard, but I do now. I believe in optimism. Well, 
Plus, it's just, I don't know, maybe the, this is, it's weird because I used to have a very brutal pragmatic opinion, but now I have a sort of pragmatism in the other direction where I'm saying like, well, it's completely pointless and non-productive to sit there and be like, things will never improve and everything's shit. That's just not, I don't know, it's just not productive. It definitely won't change if you feel that way. You have to be willing to accept the fact that things can improve before you can actually make them improve, and you have to be willing to make them improve. Just sitting there going, oh, everything sucks. Well, then everything will suck, because you think it sucks. You've convinced yourself it sucks, and nothing will ever change. You have to change it. The world will not change it for you. It's not saying it's easy. It's never easy. But it is the case. It is the fact. That is a thing. You have to be willing to do it yourself. Or at least work towards it. And you also have to be willing to accept the fact that change will not come immediately. That's the hardest part. That's the roughest part. You, you sort of pick up the new mentality and you're like, I'm gonna fucking go for it. And then the next day sucks. And the next day sucks ass. And it's an awful day. And the world kicks your ass. And you have to be willing to take that L and be like, Tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow will be better. I will work at it again tomorrow. And you just keep going until things change. It reminds me, actually, I'm sorry to put the entire fucking video on hold, but this is a line from a game that is very important to me, and I think I mentioned it during a video related to that game at one point. But in Dragon Age Inquisition, you have an argument with a character called Liliana, who's your spy master. There's a lot more info than that, but I'm giving you the cliff notes. Um, and basically, she's deciding whether or not to kill an agent who turned traitor, because he turns traitor. Now, to be fair, logically, I think, yes, you should kill the traitor because he's a traitor and he's an agent, so he's got a lot of information. But the decision is not actually a logical, pragmatic decision, as it were. It's a morality decision, and it's not even based on whether or not to kill the agent themselves. This is where it gets a little confusing, but it, the decision is not actually really based around that. It's based around the concept of having ideals in of themselves. There is a line that your character cut shoots back with, during this conversation, because she says, I don't have the luck with my job as spy master, I don't have the luxury of ideals, especially at a time like this. And your character can shoot back with the, with, with the statement, this is precisely the time for ideals. And they're right, actually. At, when I was younger and I played that scene, I thought they were dead wrong. I was like, no, you can't afford to be clinging to your ideals at a time like this. And then as an adult, I was like, this is the whole point of ideals. Moments like this are the whole point, when they're tested. Anyone can have ideals when they're not being tested. Anyone can have views or opinions or optimism when it's not being tested. What matters is when it is being tested. It's easy. It would be easy for me to sit here and say to you that everything will be bad tomorrow if my life was sunshine and rainbows all the time. Things have improved for me immensely, but it's not always sunshine and rainbows. Tomorrow's gonna be a rough day, I can tell, I've got work. But I know I'll get through that, and I know things will continue to improve when I make videos. I'll, despite the adversity, I can hold true to that ideal that things can and will improve because I, you know, because I can. The important thing being that ideals, optimism, faith, you know, we're, we're we're leaning on uh, Hockmer a little bit here. All these things mean nothing if they're not tested. A hard situation is precisely the time to make the switch to this train of thought, because that's the time when you need it, and that's the time when you need to prove it. It's weird, it's hard to explain, and I know I've rambled this a bit, gone backwards and forwards and all over the place, and I know I haven't expressed it very well, but it's always been important to me. Well, no, not always, actually, that's the whole point. It has become important to me to note that, you know, things are affirmed through adversity. Now, it doesn't mean you should seek out adversity. Adversity sucks. We all avoid it where we can. But those are the moments when who you are and what you can do are defined. And you got to be willing to put in the effort to pass that test. I don't know. It's just my thoughts. They could be wrong. I'm perfectly willing to accept that. But those are the thoughts and feelings I live my life by. To once again quote Soul Eater, that's the man I used to be. <laughs> or not even, it's the man I am now. To be fair, I get that. I really do get that. I was like that. I had that. I had that exact. I think I might have even said almost this exact line because I was a little edge lord as well. I might have actually said something very similar to this at one point. But <clears throat> that's another key point to remember. 
It's not just, it's never over. <laughs> it's not over until it's over. You haven't lost until you've lost. You haven't lost until you've stopped trying. There is always the potential for a comeback. You can always have another go at virtually anything. There is always more chances. There is always more risk. Of course there is, but there's a risk to everything. There is always more opportunities. But this also lends itself to the idea that I think a lot of people who are in this sort of mindset, why they sort of dismiss it is because they, the way they picture it in their head is that you magically one day decide that everything's fine. And that's just not the case. It's a process. It will happen and evolve and blossom without you even really knowing about it. You're not actively sat every day going, I'm going to be happy, I'm going to be happy, I'm going to be happy. You just resolve to attempt to improve things, and then eventually they do. But magically is definitely the key term here, because even I thought this as well, I'm talking a lot of this from my own personal experiences as well, as I, would have, I couldn't imagine it because I sort of perceived it as like, oh, you just wake up one day and everything's fine. You just wake up and decide that everything's good. No, it's a process, and it's a long process. I've experienced it pretty much throughout the entirety of this uh, channel's lifespan, which is around four, maybe five years now. It's a long process, but it's possible. I swear to God, I'm going to stop stopping this conversation soon to keep waxing lyrical about my own personal views. I promise I will, but I don't have anything I want either. It's also crucial because I didn't know what I wanted. I, I was like, I'm just sad, and I don't even know how I'd fix it, because I don't know what I want. Like, I... You do, you find things. And I guess the only way to find things is to try things. But YouTube, weirdly enough, is actually a fantastic provider of things you may or may not want to do. Because, yeah, video working can be rough, but it's not about video working, it's about presenting what you love doing. Now, you can pick anything, anything in the world that you like doing. Do you like, I don't know, carpentry? Do you like playing football? Do you like painting miniatures? Do you like drawing? Do you like playing with your dogs? Put it on YouTube. I'm not saying you'll necessarily make a living out of it, but it can provide you with a sense of fulfillment. It's there. You gotta be willing to have expectations fail. Now that's key because this is a completely different setting to what we live in. I'm not really arguing with Roland personally because his circumstances are completely different to mine, but in terms of the overall uh, mentalities and philosophy, I'm definitely on Tiff's side here. Everyone has some expectations. Wait a fucking minute. Angela's not here. We're focusing a lot on Roland. Are we fighting Roland? Is Roland gonna manifest ego? Is this gonna be the coolest thing I've ever seen? Too large for just one person. My guy. My poor guy. I've been there, been there. And you can see over here what could have been. Yeah. Kids toys, a little. This would have been probably the drawer where the kids toys were going to be. He hasn't had, he doesn't have the heart to clear it away. See, if this is a fight with Roland, it's definitely he has to manifest his own ego because he's not going to take on. I mean, it would be hilarious if he took on the magical girls, but surely he isn't. 
The game isn't quite that silly, you know? Although I suppose you could make it cool. But no, this is going to be something different, I'm sure. Oh, is this... Maybe I misinterpreted that. I fucking love this twist. This is so good. Because now, like, bearing in mind, he's not even... Like, you know, Angela had a lot more anger in her voice during these scenes, but Roland is just... He's numb, and he's just talking. Dully. But is this still a very, like... Aggressive is not the right term, but it's accusatory. It's lashing out. And it's funny that Tiff had to be the one to kind of crack him open a bit. And now he's getting angrier. Wow. Angela's <laughs> like, what the fuck happened while I was away? Well, there's some hard um, Catherine vibes. For real. Is that his ego? Or is no, he is manifesting um, Queen of Hatred. It's just, you know, different. It's more akin to her second form than her first form. Which is interesting, I didn't even think he could do that. And it makes sense, because his conversations with Hockmer and Bina were quite heated. Small things! Yeah, God forbid Angela actually gets involved, but then Rollins never did either. Yeah, it's amusing. <laughs> Look at this petty bitch. <laughs> I can completely relate to that, though. Oh, brilliant. Here we fucking go. So, ladies and gentlemen, this came at a perfect time, right? Because this morning I checked YouTube, and YouTube, being the absolute fucking dick that it is, popped up a video on my newsfeed saying Roland boss fight music. And I was so pissed, because I was like, that's the fucking end game twist, isn't it? No, it's for the realizations. So I got, I got spoiled on something, but assumed it was something else. So now I'm not actually spoiled because it's this. And it, the same thing actually happened with Angela, funnily enough. I got spoiled on the fact that she was a boss fight for YouTube showing me um, tracks, but... Once again, it turned out to be realizations. The world I knew wasn't so peaceful, no way I'd be allowed to have that so easily. Well, well, this is new, all right. Roland turned into that. The power wasn't just affecting Lady Angela. We do something, but there's too little we know. We don't know everything about Roland, and we might not understand him fully, but we've still got to face him head on. In the end, I failed to keep one person safe. One person. Moves to the next phase after HP drops to zero. Yeah, in the name of love and hate, this is what we're doing. They say shadows can't exist without light, but I don't, and we'll never know. This is my world. I'm too exhausted to look for any light. When Hysteria Gauge is filled, transformed, the Hysteria Gauge rises upon losing clashes or being attacked by marked characters and decreases upon winning clashes or attacking marked characters. The screen pinkens from left to right as the gauge fills. At the end of the scene, restore a light and draw two pages. Then I know that day will never come back. Okay. Okay. I'm glad we're having fun, but this is still going to be very tricky. Arcane Beats. We've rolled well on speed, so we might be able to make this work. Burning Flash would go well for that. 
in the name of justice, which is a shooting attack. I have to say, Roland, I quite like your music. I really do. Go in for concentration. You need your charge as soon as possible. And then the last one is with love. Uh, hmm. Tiff can intercept that with shoving stab. And then everyone else can just go for it, I suppose. Start building themselves up. And also doing damage, because if we can sort of manage to do what we did before, where we um, basically killed the Queen of Hatred before she could do her big scary shit, that would help quite a lot. It might be a bit of a waste, but I think prod the weakness. Uh, it's just to hit him with a bit of binds to slow him down would be very helpful. Multi-slash because you're going to need it. And uh, you know what? Multi-slash because you're going to need it. All right, lads. Let's see how this goes. This is a good team. I'm confident in this team. I'm looking forward to seeing them perform in receptions. Let's make it go. Not ideal, but it worked out. That's good. That's fine. He's going to get quite upset by the end of this, though, I think. Unlock. Prod the weakness. Big damage. If we can stagger him, that'll do everything. That will do everything for us. But the screen is getting quite pink. Name of justice. In the name of love and justice. Okay. We can make- we can totally make this work. Unfortunately, Renate's not drawing very well. That will change over time, but it's not ideal right now. So you're hitting them with two attacks, these are ranged attacks, which, funnily enough, um, the world is actually quite suited to dealing with. So if you were to contest, say, your unlock one is a two to six. Now, so world, you have singular strike, which actually boosts that to a four to eight. Then you have sword play of the homeland, which actually boosts it to a six to ten. Then you have Dark Cloud Blade, which actually boosts it to a 7-11. You're the villain, currently. On the other hand, you could just use Burning Flash and <laughs> just dust anything he's doing. That is a thing you can do. I think that's a 3 you've got there? That's a 3, yeah, that's a 3. So you can only clash one of these two. So you may as well just go for it. Yeah, yeah, Faye could get a lot done this turn. Or not. Damn it. Faye can actually get very little done this turn. That's annoying. Then hit him with T Shankao. I want to see how it goes. I want to see what it's like. And that's about all we got. I hope we stagger him this turn, because otherwise he might do something quite dangerous. What a legend. Sir World, you absolute legend. Brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah, you're going to stagger him this turn, for sure. Flesh A should and all. Yes. Yeah, oh yeah, we got him. We got him. Oh, you love to see it. Oh, your first phase means nothing to us. And we've got an unlock three already. Big hit. Big hit. Round two. Ah, interesting. This really is like a monster. He's turning even creepier. Can we really do this? Everyone taking care of yourselves. Things are getting tough. How's Miss Tifrith doing? I'm okay. Don't worry about me and focus on the fight. We've got our buffs now. This is very good. So let's see. This looks like it's exactly the same. But I should read to make sure. Yeah, HP a lot. Can't go below 30 HP from our attacks. Recovers 50% of max HP. Next scene. And that's if... They get to 30 or lower. Gains 5 power when clashing with Roland. So this is Roland right now, okay? While the staves are present, uses a mass attack page every two scenes. Changes behavior when they're all defeated. On the first scene of the new cycle, attack Roland. After attacking Roland again on the second scene... After attacking Roland again on the second scene, again on the second scene, uses a mass attack page that summons more hermit staves. So we dealt with this relatively easy last time. Only Roland can defeat the hermit. Prioritizes attacking the staves. While well, the staves are present after taking 30 damage, uses embodiments of evil. When, start, when they start attacking the hermit, they use embodiments of evil. Okay. So, 
We dealt with this not long ago, and it should be pretty simple. Right, crunch. Everyone appeared to get most of their light back, so that's good. I think Somber Procreation would do the tricks there. We want to focus really on uh, getting these clashes going, and then we can see about what we're going to do afterwards. This music is really good, by the way. I love it. It's less, uh, it's less hype than Angela's, but carries its own weight, you know? Which uh, I definitely dig. So the prescript points should be able to deal with that. Yes, that's already cheaper now. We can basically use these guys to style all over them. You're weak to blunt. Oh, right, yeah, we need to clash with you, don't we? Yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, we can clash with you. That's fine. Don't worry about it. But we need to make sure we clash well. Because, uh... We want to stagger her. Or, sorry, stagger him. The hermit is him. People did say that. We want to stagger him just in time for Roland to have a go. This is pretty important, actually. Kindly make way. Try battle command. It'll at least help everyone else. Where's this last dice going? It's also hitting them. Okay. <laughs> Twat. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Now we're golden. Yes, this works. Excellent. All right, go for it. Big hits. Big hits. Big hits. You'll love to see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Go on, Gerardo. What a guy. What a guy. We're tearing these staves apart, incidentally. Big hit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he he he. Go on, Roland. Give him the old 2 1 do one Yes, yes. Oh, they're fucked. Oh, it's over. Goodbye. Balance crump. Fuck's sake. Balance crumbles and justice vanishes. And we finally got one of these. I'm going to give that to Tiff. Oh, and we get this as well. Okay, well, we'll get love and we'll give that to Reno. Worked out relatively well. Yeah, that worked out relatively well. Good. Good. Oh, yes! Faye has unlocked their potential. You're fucked now, buddy. Oh, no. Rene has also unlocked their potential. You're fucked now, buddy. Whoopsie doodle. Smack. Smack. Oh, Rex. Good. Good. Very good. Very pleased. Very pleased. That might be helpful. I'll give it to the world. We don't know if it's actually going to come into play very much, but it could do. Unfortunately, Roland is going to focus on this thing and therefore will not attack the Hermit this turn. So... Here's what we do, yeah, 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 you see, you see. Use our unlocks. All unlocks can go now. Multi-slash, everything that draws cards or just generally improves us, now's the time for it. Multi-slash. That's all you've got. Will the prescript, you need cards. You know what, that might be useful next turn. Although, honestly... Oh, you've got unlock three. Yeah, go combat preparation and then go two light or one light and draw a page. Go multi slash. This is all we need to do this turn. Oh my god, she hits like a truck. I should point out that while uh, Sir World Slash and Burn was made through suggestions, um, phase for better and work for better or worse was entirely of my design. And Sir Worlds is mostly of my design, I just took advice. But for better or worse, Faye, that, that deck is mine. <laughs> it might not be a very good one, but I'm liking it so far. And I love this Blade Unlock shit, it's so cool. Make sure I'm getting that name right, whatever, hang on. I want to see the name, I want to see, you gotta, you gotta show me the name. I nearly had it, wait. No, Gerardo Pippi is moving ever so slightly. Just making it difficult. Yeah, I had it. 
Blade unlocked. Yes, that's all I wanted. I just wanted to know what it was called. That's it. So you're going for Roland now with melee six to tens. Oh, you're using a fucking mass attack, aren't you? Embodiments of Evil. That's annoying. All right, fine. What is Embodiments of Evil again? Uh, let's just see the numbers. Three at seven, three at six, three at five. Pretty easy to deal with, actually. I think, um... I think Emotional Turbulence will do the trick. And then, instead of doing all the things I said, just use Unlock 2 to get Unlock 3, because that's more important. Oh my god, Flow of the Sword is currently free! That's free real estate! Thank you, thank you. Yes, I made the funny. Yes, I did. I, I did make the funny. Yeah, I made the funny joke. I finally did it, guys. I finally made a funny joke. You know what? Emotional Turbulence there will actually do the trick. What was I saying? Yes, I made the funny. I made the funny. And you can never take that away from me. Alright. Definitely unlock two. We should be alright this turn. You know what? Just in case, throw out a little dagger press. Just to see if you can get that stagger going. Break. Everyone did well. Everyone did great. Everyone did amazing. Everyone was perfect. The Hermit is so screwed. That did not go how I wanted it to. Oh well. Tis what happens though, isn't it? Good thing we did go Dagger Press. Damn. Emotional Turbulence. There it is! Roland's gonna go in for the finish. Unfortunately, we're staggered for the next round. Two of us are. And the music has just switched up. I wonder how it feels to lose the very thing you wanted to protect. I'll never get it completely since I haven't experienced it myself. Even if the fault lies on yourself, being ridden with too much guilt will eat away at you like poison. And that poison is about to hurt us now. It must feel hopeless for sure, more than words could describe. With nothing left inside, that heart began to feel the cold. What? Hold on, stop. Everyone stop. Everyone just fucking stop, alright? That is amazing. I am so angry that I can't use that as the thumbnail because it would be massive, like, thematic spoilers, but... Oh my god. That is so cool. I think I'd want to look like that if I ever became a color. Oh, the violin! Oh, let's go! Anyway, this round is a bit of a problem because two of our heavy hitters are currently staggered. Now it's okay, we have enough to stop them. Oh! Oh god! Oh, the changing of the note arrangement, but it's the same notes and oh my god! Moves to the next phase. Cannot be targeted, does not act, give tears to a random sword every three scenes. The character is staggered, activates the scene after. When a sword of tears takes lethal damage, fall into despair. When the character falls into despair, all swords fully recover HP and stagger resist new special combat pages. If all swords impale the character in despair state, become staggered and targetable next scene. I do remember this, yes. So you've got the tears right now. Yes, you have the tears. You're the one we want to damage. But we need to contend as well. I'm sorry, this just happens to be the coolest shit ever. <laughs> it is. Now, I'm less confident in Gerardo's ab ability to properly contest. So... Battle Command that. Concentrate that. And then I've got a plan for your final dice, which should help. And it's pretty much good. Well, actually, you know, you can contest in some respects. But not very well. This is likely going to be up to Rene. Oh, God, don't hit me with the good violin. It's too good. And you have to stop because my soul can't take it. How good it is. I'll tell you what, actually, we'll do it this way. Oh, the remix. Oh, my God. Too hype. You have to stop. You have to stop. You have to start with the hype. It's too powerful. How is Faye's uh, emotion doing? Oh yeah, she can still benefit from all that war. And uh, Violent Flame is free. And we'll hold on to T-Shankal because she's kind of low on cards right now. 
This is about what we've got. Hopefully we can make this work. That works out. That worked out exceptionally well. In fact, pretty much trashed them. Good. Oh, Gerardo, you're a cool guy, it must be said. You are a cool guy. You are a cool guy. <laughs> I just love that charge. It was a really cool charge. I really liked it. So they don't die, which is good, because we get the benefits from our different cards that we played. We don't want Wrath. We're doing too well for Wrath. Give that to Faye. Actually, I should have given that to Sir World because Sir World has a um, uh, uh, singular strike, so it actually suits him really well. Also, guys, we need to look again. We need to look again because it just got cooler. It just got cooler. I never thought something crying would make it cooler, but it did, and it is. Everything changed. I thought you would at least stay with me forever. Oh, this is the best episode ever. If this sword fails to deal any damage to its target, the sword will impale Roland. Alright. So, world, you're up. This is your turn. 3 at 7, 3 at 6, 2 at 5. I actually think unlock 1 would be perfect for that. But let's hold off on that in case there are better options, shall we? See, shoving stab would probably be more suitable for that. And then that's a 5 to 10, so we need a big, strong compare. We need a big, strong compare. And I think you've got it, kid. Oh, I think you've got it. And everything else, we save. I think. Give it a go. Ideal. Big stab. It does damage. Perfect. Big stab. Tiff going three for three. Big stab. Roland, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> such a... I forgot how cool this fight was. I actually forgot. Get those unlocks going. Now is the time. Get those unlocks going. Yes. Get those unlocks going. Just get them all going. Fuck it. He hasn't got much health, so anything we use is going to kill, so let's focus on gaining light and cards and shit. This is the time. This is exactly the time. And we'll throw in maybe some light attacks as well to just kind of make sure we're doing okay on these fronts. Your charge is max. Your power is maximum. Use combat preparation so we get endurance next scene. And then Grace the Grass for light. We want to make sure we actually take him down this turn or things are going to get annoying. But I think we're okay. Throw in a Dagger Press just in case. And you throw in a Dagger Press just in case. He will go down this turn. Oh, for sure. Big hit. Big hit. I don't think we got to use any of those unlocks, which is quite annoying, but I did just want to make sure we won. Gold right. Oh, God, stop. You have... Hang on, let me read first. Was it a sin to want a bite of an apple? Am I forbidden from desiring such small bits of happiness? Do you think there could be an end to greed? It might get weakened for a while, but it won't disappear for good. As they say, being denied even the hope of having a tiny bit of happiness is such a sad thing. Don't you know how big of a bliss it is to live a peaceful life in this city? The sadness of one's pleasure being taken away will be the same, however big or small it may be. Now, uh, st everyone stop. Just stop for a minute. Just... My guy. My guy! What a fucking chat. Ah, oh, Roland, you're so cool. For greed seeks eternity, seeks deep, deep eternity. I remember reading that line in the Log Corp story page records. I remember that. Overwhelming luster. Ecstasy of triumph for happiness. If HP falls to 50% or lower, transform into the king of greed next scene. Yep. Road of gold creates brilliant bliss and becomes untargetable, but does not act. The following scene uses a special combat page. If three or fewer librarians mention to get the attack, gain three strength and haste. Now, I need to remember how this works. How many people gets targeted, get targeted during the initial gold rush phase? 
I think King of Greed, the second phase focuses on one person and hits them twice, and I think this phase hits two people. Let's find- we'll find out when we get there. I think the game does kind of inform you of how that's going to work, so... Let's just deal. Some big hits there. So we can't really use our, um... Light and card draw attacks because he has quite a lot of counter die and we really don't need the stagger. So we need to think about this carefully. I think it's time for T-Shan Kao. I think I've been holding out off for too long. I think let's fucking go now with T-Shan Kao. Which we all want to see. Most of all me, I want to see it, like, desperately. I want low number dice trying to... Yeah, this is how we do, okay? We'll get a high number dice here, you see this? And we'll use shoving stab, okay? And that will break one of the counters. And then we get a multi-slash in on the slow to make sure it actually goes through. And I want you to try that and just see how it goes. All right, I'm trying to play this a little smarter. Let's see how it goes. Very good, very good. Fucking excellent. Fucking excellent. Yes. 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 We gave him something to think about. Six burn, ten bleeding. He's not having a good time, it must be said. Sparkling strike, overwhelming luster, ecstasy of triumph. Though I'm inclined to believe that Flesh A would probably handle it and do more stagger. So let me just remind myself. HP does not go, low, go below 50% before transformation, and I think when he transforms, he gets his stagger resist back. So we can't just brute force this. Which is unfortunate, but you know. It's it's fair. It is fair. Oh, just hit him with the fervid emotions. Oh, I just want to see the cool shit now. <laughs> now that we're here. Break. Good hit. Good. 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 Oh, yes. Everyone's getting what they need. Even though that's doing fuck all damage. I think it's because he's at 50%. I like you, Gerardo. I really do. Something about that rhino suit is just rad as hell. There we go. Now things get interesting. So let's check your resistances. Endured, ineffective. Yeah, so we're not going to do much damage. Go now in the King of Greed phase. Which is still very cool. Use a different set of combat pages on a successful hit. Tons of damage based on bleed. Every three scenes, brilliant bliss. The librarian fails to negate any special combat page attacks. Deal 15 damage to all librarians and cover 25 HP. Yeah, it's pretty- we remember, it's pretty similar. But I need to make sure things aren't changing for the realization. I naively wished for happiness at first. Fixation, yeah, I remember that fucking card. Yeah, I remember it. The second hit on Fixation deals seven bleed. And the first die... ...grants it two power if it loses. It's serious business. It's serious. I think Emotional Turbulence has a solid chance. It's tough, but I want you to try and take Consuming Desire so that the world can handle hunger. Because they can, quite simply. They can definitely handle it. Now, let's start hitting them with things like Burn. This should be fine. We're not wasting all of our cards, and we're dealing some damage. Getting in some cheap hits and contesting. Let's see it happen! Yes. No. <gasps> Couldn't be perfect, I suppose. Honestly, the fact that you're beating these is quite impressive. That's unfortunate. But it is the way of things. Big stagger. Very good. Big hit. Just chipping away. It's not actually doing much, but it doesn't need to. This is all for our benefit. And that's also to, you know, cause problems. Actually did quite a bit of damage on the first round. We are at max- well, the only person not at max emotion right now is Rene, and that will change. Audacity. If that first one wins, it destroys all dice and inflicts fragile. 
Oh, that's so horrible. All right, let's go for a bit of castigation. We haven't used it yet. We have not used it yet. I think now's the time. Guys, it is the coolest it's ever been. It's the coolest it's ever been. Unlock one. Blow the sword. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. I'm not doing my best here because I want people to think I'm good at this video game. I'm doing my best here because I want to do my fucking best. This is, this should be sufficient. Oh, why didn't the coward dice come into play? I think I misunderstood that card. But it was still very cool. It's fine. We got some bleed effects going, but it's not too bad. That was very good. Lots of burn. Yes. Getting everything we need to. Very good. Acidic Sludge. Inflict five erosion to all enemies. Well, that's not actually going to help us much in the long run, is it? You're still the only one who got erosion. So what was the point? Okay, so it's all going for Rene. All right. Well, we can do something about that, can't we? You only have normal... Oh, they're not even fatally weak to attacks anymore. I see. You use combat preparation. We might need it. Okay, that was fine. In fact, you probably could have gotten more than you actually are going to get, but it's okay. Now this is... Oh no, she has three die. Oh, but that's okay. Only two are special attacks. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, everything's fine. Don't even worry about it. Everything's good. Yes, everything's good. I mean, yeah, you could just use Fragments of Bliss to block that. Quite easily. Yeah. There we go. Everyone may as well chill out. Because he's going to be sagging next turn, and then we can get him. No chance. No chance. There it is. So you've been marked as the companion. You have companion. So Sir World needs to kill her. Here's what we'll do. We'll have Sir World use unlock three. And sharpen blade. Nah. Yeah, just unlock three. And what we'll do is we'll have someone go first. You. Use multi-slash. And then we'll have you go afterwards, just in case it doesn't work out. But this will be enough, I guarantee it. Oh yeah, it should be fine. Yes, this will be fine. There it is. And everyone got healed for that. And then everyone got healed even more for that. Oh! What the heck is this? A clown? I haven't seen anything about this one in the records. It seems there are lots of abnormalities we never had the chance to see. Miss Tiffrick, what should we do? Don't worry, I believe we can do it. I hope so. Nihil. Interesting, like Nihilus. That's probably like the big bad in the uh, Magical Girl saying, isn't it? Because look, you've got... Ossified Despair, Petrified Hate, Lapidified Wrath, and Fossilized Greed. I think we need to do something to free them to have a big fight. Which I think will be very cool. That's definitely the big bad of the Magical Girls, for sure. That's a cool idea. Blinded by carnal desires and jealousy, he willingly walks to the edge of the cliff. That sounds like something the announcer would say in Soul Calibur. I can picture his voice saying it. Also, someone said you're supposed to read the um, quotes from down up, like from, say, from Tifrith up to Gerardo, but that's completely untrue because the world was like, Miss Tiff, what do we do? And Tiff was like, I think we can do it. Stay calm. She's responding to the... She was responding to the world. So whoever said that, you're full of crap. <laughs> that's something I've learned recently, right? From the comments, is I have to keep in mind that some people are just wrong. <laughs> And I shouldn't take everything I read as a fact. 
but everyone is trying to help. So, you know, gotta give people some, uh, give some credit. Plus, a lot of people are right, so, eh. All right, Nihil, let's see what you got. All returns to Nil has unique modes of behavior that cycle in the following order. Nihil, Greed, Hate, Despair, Wrath. Each mode features different passive abilities in combat pages. Pointless Endeavor takes no stagger damage outside of Wrath mode, takes no damage from Bleed, Burn, Erosion. This character's speed dice cannot be sealed. The Magical Girl of Justice will stand in for the Librarian that breaks this statue at the start of the next scene. If a Magical Girl breaks the statue, the Librarian with the lowest current HP will be replaced instead. Mag magical Girls possess special key pages with unique stats, passive abilities, and combat pages. Okay, interesting. Word Will of Nihil. Targeted librarians are inflicted with seven feeble, disarm, and fragile until the end of combat. Until the end of combat! <laughs> Good thing it's mass summation. So 15, 15. We can absolutely make sure that doesn't do anything to us, I'm sure. But we need to decide who's going to take. who the, 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 the Knight of Despair is going to replace. That's. well, burn actually doesn't matter, but that will make sure you survive. Okay, well, we're gonna wanna keep Gerardo Pippi on the field because they're providing buffs. Faye and Rene are really tough. So it's really between Tifrif and uh, Sawworld. I think Sawworld should be the first one to go. As much as I love Sawworld and, um. you know, what I've set up for them, they're probably the least useful right now. Everyone else, I kind of want you to just go for them, I suppose. I suspect doing massive damage isn't going to do much for us, so let's focus on debuffs and buffs instead. And don't worry about that, save some of your light. We've got this. Multi-slash, and then combat preparation. We've got this. Frontal assault. Multi-slash. You're staying as you are. Let's see how this goes. Yep, everyone's fine. No problems. Hit him! Some of these attacks are doing actually nothing. It's fine, though. Some damage is being done. And bind. This is why this is the final boss of the Magical Girls. Good hit. There it is. The magical girl of justice. She's here now. We're playing alongside them. Very cool. But now all three of them are active. But you're not using your, um mass attacks anymore so we can get engaged normally. You have two strength and endurance to an ally targeted by the gesture of Nihil this turn. And these attacks seem like they're especially good actually for dealing with Nihil himself. So we should do that. You're not going to win with this. Use Grace the Grass so you'll at least nullify some of the damage. You're going to take some hits, Pippi, but it's going to be worth it. Alright, let's give it a try. Alas, none of that really worked. Unfortunate. You've done that. That was bad, but it's fine. You'll get that one. God damn. Ooh, it's rough. There we go. It's rough. It's rough. It's. Hey, that was a hit. It didn't do anything. Pippi will go down relatively soon, I think. 18 bleeds. You know what? Maybe Pippi should just not axe this turn, and then they'll be fine. They exist right now to provide these guys with buffs. That is their thing. Arcanus. Yeah, you can't do that. And you're using Road of Gold. For the justice and balance of this land. So, God, oh, it's very cool. Let's go! Magical girl of happiness! Magical girl of justice! Magical girl of love! Magical girl of courage! Oh! They're in their true forms! 
This is great. <laughs> this is fucking sick. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's fight the fight, though. We haven't won yet, so let's settle down, eh? All right, this is about what we've got. Unfortunately, Pippi failed quite dramatically. In fact, I think everyone failed. Good God. And that destroyed their die. That's really bad. Oh boy, that's not good. Wow. Wow, no. What can I do other than just... So, okay, she's gonna go down. Am I actually gonna lose right at the end? Can I at least have my librarians back? I guess not. Road of gold again. Sorry, Pippi, you're out. Oh my god. Oh my god, are you fucking serious? Did we just lose all of those? It's mass summation! You can't be serious! Am I just... Is the game just dicking me? Is this what... I don't understand. And he's just gonna use this mass summation again and we're presumably just gonna lose again. And she's dead. Are you fucking serious? It's 10 to 12, but... With love should have done it. No contest. That's a minimum 16. That should have blocked it. I don't think I read some of these passives and I really should have, but... No, I think I completely fucked this up. Well, this went from being really cool to really sad. Because <laughs> I'm thinking I'm about to fail and literally have to do this entire realization again. Unbelievable. Uh, okay, so the passives changed dramatically. For every phase of the fight when the magical girls were active. Meaning, for instance, I realized at the last moment there... That that was a phase in which I was supposed to be making excessive use of the, uh... Magical Girl of Happiness, who was already dead by that point, of course. What a f... Fuck's sake. Get back in there and raise some lunch, boy! Staggered. Oh no, they transformed. Uh, I've never seen this before. That's annoying because I just staggered them. So really, uh, it, it, you should just accept your loss rather than actually uh, continuing to fight. Well, we're dealing with it. We are dealing. His speed will be really slow, which is good. Big hit. We've basically taken it apart. Okay, this wasn't much of a big deal. And it burned and died. Very good. And then this again. Okay, alright, okay, alright. Things will be hype once we get back there and I know what I'm doing. That's the first time I've failed a realization, though. Doesn't feel good. Don't like it. <laughs> Don't recommend. Don't recommend failing your realizations, ladies and gentlemen, if I had to make you a recommendation. As to whether or not to fail the recommendation, it would be don't. I know these bosses, or these avenues, very fucking well by now. At least it's not too difficult overall to get to um, the finale, so... Repeated tries aren't too bad. You know, that's something. Remember when these were incredibly difficult? I remember. I remember it vividly. I don't know if this is a button ex that exists or if there's a mod for it, but this game could certainly do with a button you could click to lock a clash in so that additional adjustments you make afterwards for the purposes of one side of the attacks don't constantly change it. It's really not enough of a complaint to, like, actually be a thing where it's like, oh, the game's not good because of this. But it would be nice to not have to manually adjust each time because I have had some unfavorable clashes because I've forgotten to do that. Once again, I don't think it's ever been something that has cost me a fight, and it's really not that big of a complaint, but it would be nice. It would be nice. And now for the big finale. Okay, we're here again. 
Once you've contested the Massimation, you may as well go all in on your selected magical girl. Just make sure it happens. It probably will. It's quite easy to do. Maybe there could be something said for trying to um, soften it up as the librarians first and then switching to the magical girls, but the magical girls just seem best focused, best suited to doing the job. Plus, everyone's going to get afflicted with feeble, disarm, and fragile. So, no, we, I'm, I, we, I just don't think we can, basically. You do everything you can to prepare for the next scene, Gerardo, because things are going to get real rough for you real quick. I should do it. Okay. We're doing this again. Your stupid attack failed. That was all that was needed. Literally an unlock three will do it, but I decided to make sure. <laughs> there we go. At least hit it with a few things before the fight really starts. That went. Now everyone has changed. Everything is different now. They all have buffs. Unfortunately, the use of uh, combat preparedness and stuff didn't really affect them, but it did affect Gerardo, so that's something. You're not using thingies this turn. You're not using your mass attacks, so we should probably make most of this. Okay, so let's see what you're all about now. Combat pages used against this character lose 5 power unless the Magical Girl of Happiness is the loot user. Each time this character loses a clash, a random ally gains a combat page fragment of bliss, uses a mass attack of page the Road of Gold on the second scene. If all allies negate the attack of the Road of Gold, loses 50 HP and shifts to hate mode next scene. Right, okay. So, you're the one who wants to deal with this right now. Yes, okay, and then we would use hope to buff... Magical Girl of Happiness, and we I imagine that probably stacks, so all three of them can use it. And, I don't know, Gerardo can probably do something. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, Overwhelming Luster. Ecstasy of Triumph. You're running out of things to do. That might be what Gerardo's here for. Now, let's hope this works the way I think it does. Really not. Oh, that got through. That's good. She's got nine plus strength and endurance. I think she can handle it. You are doing damage, just very little. But you are doing some. Very good. 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 That is inflicting, um... Is it inflicting erosion? We'll see at the end of the turn, I suppose. No, but they have been dis... Oh, one speed dice is unusable. Although it didn't actually affect Road of Gold. Okay. But everyone got Fragment of Bliss. Which is obviously used for that. <laughs> which is obviously used for that. Yes. Okay, yeah, we're making it happen. Alright, I... I should have fucking read. I should have read the fucking cards. This is... Entirely on me. It is. I. It absolutely is. I should have read the fucking cards. Okay. All right. Erring's fine. Erring's fine. Erring's fine. We can do this. It's not. As far as I can tell, it's not actually that hard. I was just not doing it right. I was straight up not doing it right. Which is, you know, frustrating. But oh well. This should be fine. This should be fine. Blocked. 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 Locked. Locked. Okay. You did actually hit him, it just didn't fucking do anything. That did. Damage is being done. Magical Girl of Happiness is fucking going for it, I tell ya. Yes, yes, yes. By their powers combined, this is a very cool fight, it must be said. I'm just frustrated that I didn't get it the first time around. I'm very frustrated by that fact, because it would have been a cool moment, but it's okay. So you're now in pointless hate. 
Comment page is using this character lose 5 power unless the magical girl of love is the user. After winning 10 total clashes, uses a mass attack page Arcana Slave on the next scene. The magical girl of love uses Arcana Slave, loses 50 HP, and shifts to despair mode next scene. You can't use that because it's 9 light required. The only good news is they don't appear to have um, counter die this time around, which means we can absolutely hit them. But we need to make sure that any... Oh my god, any and all clashes need to go there. So we're limited in what we can actually do. We're not doing a lot this turn, but what we are doing should be enough. Two strength and endurance to them should be enough. Okay. It's very cool. It's very cool. It's very cool. Oh, that's a shame. It's very cool. Unfortunately, we're still not in the phase where they take stagger damage, which is annoying, but that's okay. You've been marked to become the target of the hatred. Okay, it is fine. You'll protect your friends. You will. You will protect your friends. I now, like, you know, I kind of understood why everyone liked the magical girls, but now I really understand why everyone likes the magical girls. Because <laughs> to be fair, this fight is awesome. This fight is so good. Just conceptually, it's fantastic. It, uh, it's an absolute A+. Plus. Keep inflicting them with debuffs. Keep inflicting them with debuffs. Do it. Do it, you wimp. Big damage. And the block. All good stuff. I can't believe Gerardo Pippi is standing here alongside the magical girls. He's not doing much, but he is actually buffing them, which is exceptionally important. Hits are being landed. Their health is going down. We've almost gone halfway, actually. In the name of love and hate, light of hatred. After winning 10 clashes, see, here's the thing, he's not winning clashes, so presumably we're just going to stay in this phase forever. Ugh. We could use that now! So remind me, what happens? Oh! Oh! Either of them! Oh god, I'm an idiot! I'm not looking at their passives! Ah! I'm still not reading! Start the page, draw three pages, and fully restore life. Use a set of unique combat pages after winning ten clashes in total. The cost of Arcana Slave is reduced to zero. Okay. Use a unique set of combat pages. Use a unique set. Use a unique set. And that's Gerardo Pippi, the fifth and final magical girl. Okay, but... <laughs> yeah, no. Arcana Slave. Do you... I can't... I wish I could read... If I could read, I'd be very upset what you people are typing right now. So the mass attack will go first. So we can actually pour everything we've got into... The oh. Presumably. I don't know. We'll see. Let's not take any risks. Hope. Hope for a better future. We're hoping. Lots of hoping happening right now. My, did you know that my puppy, one of my newest puppies, uh, sweet little girl, is called Hope. And she's a sweet little baby. Um, I'll see if I can get a picture of her and then post it in the video. But she's a sweet little baby. I know I said that, but it's true. She has a little face. <laughs> you know. Like all good dogs do. And all dogs have little faces. Even big dogs. Big dogs have little faces. Continue buffing yourself. Because I realize if we manage to stagger this fucker, the fight is over. Go for it. Do the thing! Yes! You don't stand a chance! Big damage. He might not even last long enough to be staggered. It's distinctly possible. 
I like the concept, the idea that Gerardo Pippi had to put on the rhino suit to even stand next to the Magical Girls. Not because Gerardo Pippi is so strong, they are, but because this is the Magical Girls. It's an entirely different level of power. <laughs> I'm anxious, but I don't want to know. I won't know what that's ahead. Oh, Sword of Alnona. Ah, oh, we're here now. We're now in despair. Combat pages used against this character lose five power unless the Magical Girl of Justice is the user. If dice on a combat page, this character loses, uses, lose or draw in a clash, that page will be locked out starting with the next scene. If all three pages are locked out, loses 50 HP and shifts to wrath mode. This seems fairly easy. Targets any character other than the Magical Girl of Justice, and that's fine because we're not losing power against them. Okay, this should be fairly simple. I say, still being careful. Protect your friend. That should do. That should be fine. Rex, 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 Rex. So much wrecking. Wrecking. No chance. Don't worry, Gerardo, you're doing great. You did exactly what you needed to just then. This is a very fucking cool scene. It's just really fucking cool. Ah. <laughs> uh, this does bring joy. See it. You have nothing now. So do you just have a turn where you can't do anything? Because that's pretty funny. Go in on him. You're the one doing all the power damage. Whoop-ams. 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 Good stuff. Lots of damage from the Magical Girl of Justice. Working him down. Staggered. Oh, you're fucked. Ah, uh, you're fucked. Yep, you're gone. Yeah, you're fucked. <laughs> you're gone. These guys are awesome. I didn't even have Shirado Pippi do anything. You still- nope, your sword is gone. Okay, good. You're now in Wrath, which means you can suffer stagger damage. Magical Girl of Courage as the user uses a mass attack page every two scenes. Upon becoming staggered, loses 50 HP and shifts to Nihil mode. Do you have any special things? No, it's just a fight. It is just a fight. A fight that you have to do. If I can be of help. Just go in, lads. Just go in. Just go the fuck in. Doors open. Go the fuck in. Go for it. Haha! <laughs> what a shame. You don't stand a chance. You truly don't. You're not even gonna get to be staggered. We're gonna kill you first. <laughs> Pretty sure, anyway. I don't know, it's possible. Now taking erosion, so attacks are dealing even more damage over time. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, I think we might have it, ladies and gentlemen. I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. Oh. That. Oops. Ecstasy of Triumph. Ope. Again. Sorry, Gerardo, but this turn's gonna suck for you. But it is the way of things. Hang in there, Gerardo. You're doing fine. Oh, he's done. There it goes. That was really cool. I just wish I had actually read the descriptions the first time instead of the second time. Because I cost myself like an extra hour and a half by not reading.
But that is a very cool fight. This entire realization is fucking radical, actually. It might be- it's definitely the best realization so far. Are you sure, Roland? Are you sure? It was pretty cool. It has to be said. You transformed into three different magical girls. Four. Sorry. Four. Are you over your tantrum now, Roland? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry I questioned your entire existence earlier. Say, it wouldn't make you a fake, it would just make you a different person. I think, therefore, I am. It's true. You still have value whether you like it or not. So I wonder, is the rest of the middle floor realizations going to be like this, or is this something of a one-off? But it explains why they didn't allow- <laughs> they weren't gonna allow Angela to have the magical girl transformations. I get the joke now, everyone was hyping that up and it's not a thing that happened. The Jester retraced the steps of a path everyone would've- everybody would've taken. The Jester always found itself at the end of that road. There was no way to know if they had gathered to become the Jester or if the Jester had come to resemble them. I- this does make me think of the fact that in the intro- uh, in the intro movie, Roland is represented by a Joker card which appears to have more meanings than one. At the start of a scene, a combat page in hand with the highest cost that is lower than four is marked with a magical symbol. After losing four clashes with the marked page, gain five protection each scene and become immune to stellar elements, status elements, sorry, for the rest of the reception. Also when hit, inflict one erosion and fragile next scene to the attacker, twice per scene. The jester was deeper in thought. That poor jester, without the brave puppy to lead the way, it walks along with meaningless steps. Add an all returns to the void page to the hand, cost three, single use, come SR. Exhaust all pages from hand, every scene after this gains strength and endurance equal to the number of pages exhausted this way. The page is also included in the deck at start of subsequent acts. Having decided to trust its own intuition, the jester spake the names of everyone it had met on that path with each step it took. This page is only effective if the librarian possesses all four of the following abnormality pages, greed, hate, despair, and wrath. At the start of the scene, inflict five, deceib five feeble, a disarm, and bind to all other characters. Greed, hate, and wrath lose their drawbacks. Interesting. And we get ego. Yes, we do. Mass summation. It's just a big fucking hit. The sword sharp with tears. Seal a speed die. Seal a speed die. Gold rush. Restore one light. Gain one strength. Oh, this floor really likes Singular Strike, doesn't it? Oh, it does. That's good for Sword. Blind Rage. Mass Individual targets all other characters. A strong attack. Nihil. Mass Summation. On use. If there are no pages in hand, inflict four feeble, disarm, bind, and para paralysis to all enemies this scene and next scene. Hot damn. And we get a cutscene. Things went well. Honestly, our librarians performed better than I could have imagined. All of them did exceptionally well. So World and Phase Dex, I, were worry I was worried about them. I needn't have been. They were pretty successful. I noticed Faye sometimes ran low on recovery cards with only multi-slash and frontal assault, so I might want to change that round. So World's unlocks will be less effective in a reception than it will be in a realization, so I'm going to have to look into changing that. But, on the whole, Strangely successful. Strangely successful. Let's have a look. 
Yuyo Hetsona. Corrosion of the elements, effective nuclear charge. Why are you selling them to sort your books? Bring the books. I'm guessing this is because Roland is otherwise indisposed currently due to what happened. Asking the question we're all asking. Oh, it's because you're short. What about Roland? <laughs> and what about your librarians? Truly, Sawald will help you out. Or Faye. Gerardo is pretty fucking tall. Is he drinking in that sixth room again? It's true. That's nice. So his said is playing barista. 개불아는 아까부터 눈을 감고 자는 건지 명상을 하는 건지 움직이지도 않아. And Gabs meditating. Okay, brilliant. 개불아가 유독 이곳에 와서 명상을 많이 하긴 했지. 생각할 게 많아진 거 아닐까? Well, there is that whole red mist thing in her key page that is locked, and I'd quite like to know why. 맞아. 매번 도움이 필요하다는 이유로 개인 시간을 방해하기는 미안해서. Understandable. 그렇다고 너희를 무시하거나 한건 아니야. 별로 안 도와줘도 돼. 걱정하지 마. 내 자가 불평은 좀 많아도. That's true, he just does it very slowly and complains a lot, like me. Even for his big brain. Oh, this sod. I did not intend to belittle you, it's just that I'm belittling you a little bit. See what you've done. 예, 그렇습니다. 동정 어린 말은 아니었지만 아무렇지도 않으십니까? 분하다면야 분하지. 비꼬 와서 들으면 날 무시하는 거로 생각할 수 있고. It's true. 예수도 네가 그런 사람이 아니라는 걸 아니까 개의치 않고 넘길 수 있는 거야. That's true. I think it's just too scared. 하지만. You did, you did talk some mad shit about the upper layer, it has to be said. Like, mad shit. Like, completely disregarding their existence, basically. And that's not even speaking of how you treated Netzek, Jesus. Oh, that's almost pleasant. Of course not. sure. <laughs> That's good. Yes, 
<laughs> If literally anyone else asked. Yay. That was heartwarming. I don't know how long the video is actually going to be because I skipped most of the second attempt, but my current recording currently says three hours. Let's do some scouting. How long is this? It's one fight. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right. This is one act, apparently. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it today. But I need to change their decks around first because I don't think Sword having three unlocks will help him during a reception. So I'm gonna need to look into that. All right. Very simple change I made for Sword. I simply replaced two of the unlocks with one frontal assault and one single point stab to ensure that he always has something to do. Single point stab won't gain benefits from um, his multiple slash bonuses, but it will gain benefits from singular strike, which I think, you know, that'll bring up to a 511, Ben Flick's burn. That's pretty good for a zero cost, and he'll have access to it all the fucking time. The moment he draws the card, he'll have it forever, basically. Burning Flash will allow him to draw more cards and gain more light every time he uses it. So, thanks to, you know, bottom deal and stacking the decks, that'll be fine. Sharpen Blade, this is all good. This should work reasonably well. Bay is perfect the way she is. She's not perfect. There are ways to improve this deck. I'm sure there is, but I like Faye. I'm very pleased with this deck. And, you know, I like Faye. So, shut up. Just, just shut up. I don't want to hear it. Don't insult my decks. They're really good. They're not really good. I don't care. I made decks I like. We've got one axe. I'll give it one try. If I lose, then we'll put this off to next time because Jesus Christ, I'm running out of time. But this is a follow-up to the Blue Reverberation fight, so let's see what we're up against. Book of Lobotomy Corporation. I'm curious. I am very curious as to what this is going to be. This is an unusual start. We're gonna fight the Red Mist. We're gonna fight the Red Mist to get the book. I assume we're not doing that, no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> Makes sense. Simulation That's pretty cool. That's a really cool idea, though. Book of Lobcorp, I suppose. Lobotomy Corporation. Not sure I understand the specifics behind this, but I don't really care that much. Makes sense. Makes so is Geb gonna have to fight this? So probably Roland or the patron librarians just aren't gonna be allowed to take part. It's a thing. Yeah, I bet. Huh. Wow. So this is the Red Mist. And we're doing this now. That's not her name at this point. Well, yeah. I wasn't expecting us to do this. This is a very cool idea. Well, more like uh, brought here. It's interesting that she already has mimicry. Where the fuck did she get that from? There is nothing there. 
was nothing there made from her. But that wouldn't make any sense. I don't know. I don't know. Let's find out. 아니, 그래도 이상한데. 난 분명 외곽 연구실에서 우선 지금이 네가 누군지 알아야 하니 몇 가지 물어볼게. 카르멘이라는 사람 알아? 아. 역시 다른 날개에서 우리를 찍어 누르려고 개수작을 부리는 건가? 아, 뭐해. 그렇게 경계하지 마. 내 질문에 대답만 하면 너희가 찾는 답을 알려줄 수 있어. You lot. 말해봐. Oh, we're fighting the disciplinary team, aren't we? 코기토. 너희가 그토록 찾아 헤매는 코기토를 얻는 방법이 적힌 책을 준비했어. 난 거래를 하고 싶을 뿐이야. 뭘 원하는데? 미리 말해두지만 허튼 짓하면 이곳을 다 부술 거야. I believe you. 간단해. 우선 그곳 상황을 확인하고 싶어. 대답하면 코기토를 얻는 방법. 확실히 알려주는 거지? 당연하지. 이곳에는 다양한 지식을 담은 책이 산처럼 쌓여 있어. 난 그저 책을 기록하고 수집할 뿐이야. 알았어. 한 번은 믿어보지. Questionable. 좋아. 동료 중에 다니엘이란 사람이 있니? Is Daniel and Gabriel? I think if I remember correctly. 그 파란 머리 새님이라면 있어. <웃음> The nerd. He's a fucking nerd. 그럼 리사는? 아. 있어. 에녹은 실험이 실패해서 시체를 보관 중이지? Oh god. That's a yes. 엘리아는 아직도 그곳에서 일하고 있나? 그래. 붉은 안개가 전설을 써내려가고 있을 시기네. 에녹의 죽음으로 시리에 빠진 카르멘과 동료를 지키고자 고군분투한 그 시절 말이야. 나도 안타까워서 어쩔 줄 모르겠네. 다들 조마조마한 마음으로 카르멘 눈치나 보며 연구를 하겠지. 앞에서는 위로하지만 뒤에서는 원망도 하며 말은 그럴싸하게 했으면서 연구에 진척은 없는데 희생만 늘고 있으니까 선을 말하며 묵묵히 악을 행하는 그 모습 정말 가증스럽지 않아? So you're trying to antagonize her so that she fights at full strength. Amazing. Good. Good job, Angela. Fuck's sake. Yes, very much dreading this fight. <웃음> yeah, 나도 참는 건 한계가 있어. 만약 코기토 구하는 방법을 제대로 안 알려준다면 지금 그 말은 그냥 넘기지 않을 거야. 네가 우리의 노력을 그리고 카르멘의 마음을 비웃을 자격 따위 없어. 자격이라. Well, the irony is thick. 됐어. 내가 너무 날서 있었네. 지금의 너에게 이런 말을 해도 의미 없는데. 순순히 사과할 줄도 아는군. 인정할 건 인정할 뿐이야. 칼리, 하나만 물어볼게. 뭔데? 난 이곳을 지키며 여러 해결사의 모습을 봤어. 그리고 그 대부분은 돈과 명예로 움직였지. 하지만 넌 달라. 돈 따위가 아니더라도 카르멘을 그리고 연구소 있는 모두를 지키려고 했으니까. 나도 자원봉사를 하는 건 아니거든. 그럼 어째서 그럴 수 있어? 자신에게 들어올 이익이 없는데 아무것도 따지지 않고 도울 수 있는 이유가 뭐야? 지금 사람 놀리는 거야? 진짜 궁금해서 물어보는 거야? It's genuinely asking. I think we all are. 처음에는 네그 모습이 한심하다고 생각했어. 모두가 쫓는 걸다 가질 수 있을 정도로 강한 네가 어째서 모두가 가지 않으려는 길을 가는지. Angela, you're going hostile again. 정말 단편적으로 봤을 때 이야기였지. 결국 넌 남는 게 하나도 없잖아. 하지만 그건 네가 한심한 게 아니라 내가 많이 알지 못하는 걸지도 모른다는 생각이 들었어. 본인에게 직접 이야기를 들으면 나도 생각이 바뀌지 않을까 싶어서. 내게 남는 게 없다고? 그래, 그들은 돈과 명예라도 남지. 너는 이 끝에 뭐가 남아? 그 끝이 좋지 못하다고 해도, 보답받지 못한다고 해도 넌 계속 이 일을 할수 있어? 설령, 아니야. 어쨌든 그만큼 이 일에 가치가 있는 거야? 
눈에 보이는 돈 따위 기대하고 있지 않아. 이 끝에서 기대하고 있는 건 오직 하나지. 카르멘의 목표에 닿을 수 있다는 것. 아마 함께하는 모두가 같은 생각일 거야. That's the kind of group they were. 그 과정에서 끔찍한 일을 당하거나 죽는다 해도 그들을 원망하지 않아. 부족한 나를 질책하면 했지. Accurate. Very accurate. Almost as if that's exactly what happened. 이 일을 할수 있는 건 그리고 날이 갈수록 굳세어질 수 있는 건 너에게 말해도 이해하지 못하겠지. 넌본 적이 없으니까. 그 눈빛과 목소리에 담긴 힘을. 이 정도까지만 하자. 대답해줘서 고마워. 형식상이지만 규칙은 알려줄게. 저음은 너머에 코기토 추출 방법이 담긴 책이 있어. 책을 얻으려면 네 목숨을 걸고 싸워야 할 거야. Naturally. 네가 죽으면 책이 되고 반대로 살아남으면 책을 가지고 돌아갈 수 있지. 어때? 동의해? 치, 역시 쉽게 알려주지 않는 건가? We're not a charity case, you know. 오히려 이런 방식이 뒤탈 없어서 좋지. 동의할 테니 문이나 열어. 생각보다 잘 믿어주네. 똥인지 된장인지 가릴 여유가 없거든. <웃음> I'm going to start using that. 한시라도 빨리 도움을 주고 싶으니까. 물론 거짓말일 경우 너는 물론이고 이것도 끝장날 줄 알아. 더 날뛸 줄 알았는데 침착해서 좋네. 그럼 칼리. 부디 당신의 책을 찾으실 수 있기를. One exchange. Oh. You may control patron librarian Bina for this battle. <laughs> What are you doing to me? And does this mean we can only use four people because no other patron librarian will fight her except Geb? Or if I wanted to use the floor of general works, I could have five people. Bina, what's your fucking deal? Speed die slot plus one, gain an emotional speed die, emotion level three cannot overlap. Has unique key page and combat pages that cannot be replaced or swapped. At the start of the scene, draw until four pages are in hand. The graded fairy. Inflict one fairy. Take X damage every time a die rolls. At the end of the scene, take X damage and half the stack. Degraded chain. Seal a speed die of a target for the next scene. Increase the cost of targets pages whose original cost is four or higher by two for the next scene. Inflict three fairy to the target. Target's current die cannot be recycled. Degrading shockwave, which is a mass individual. Give three allies protection to all allies, and it's a mass individual. Oh my god! Oh, wow. I'd love to let Roland have a crack. I'd love to let Geb fight herself, but. Look, if they're gonna give me, if they're gonna give me Bina. I have to use her. It would feel wrong not to. But let's have a look at Carly. She has 700 health, 270 stagger resist, and 107 speed die. Restore one additional light and draw one more page each scene. When HP drops to 350, fully recover stagger resist and manifest ego. HP cannot drop below 350 before this occurs once per reception. After losing ego, manifested status, regain it in three scenes. If the character enters a new act after having manifested ego, this reception. Manifest on the second scene, gain a counter die, slash 4 to 8, combat start. Choose the speed dice to the lowest value. The speed values of the dice change to the maximum possible value. And we get three floors to bring her down. Oh boy. Fatal more damage was dealt with this page, draw one page. And reduce the cost of all other upstanding slashes by one. Draw one page, reduce the cost of all other spears. Restore two light, reduce the cost of all other level slashes. Gain three strengths next scene. Create a split vertical, destroy a combat page set on another random speed die of the target. Mass summation 28 to 42.
shit. I don't know if I... Oh, boy. All right. Um, shit. I'm really not confident going into this, but let's give it a try. Okay. This is very cool. I don't... I guess it's staying this way. Why do you talk like you know me? I won't let you proceed any further than this. It's not too late. I'll give you one chance to beg for mercy and run away. Doing this? All right, all right. Oh, child, it is verily refreshing to meet you this way. I bet. Yeah, that's as fast as it can go, which means Lamarcus has to contend it. Upstanding Slash. Which means I guess do you... Hmm. You don't necessarily have any buffs right now, though. You do gain a counter die. You don't gain any buffs. Oh, I don't want to... Oh, whatever. Um... Yeah, you don't gain any buffs. Whereas Lamarcus has... Yeah, plus two to slash. We're bringing that to a six to ten and five to ten. And then another slash, bringing that to, um... Seven to eleven and six to eleven. So he does stand a chance. Give it a try, I suppose. And that's a six, so we're unlikely to contest with anything else, really. Five to nine, five to eight. Do that. Okay. I suppose we're going in, aren't we? Yeah, we're going in. At least try and inflict some bleed and then get your light back. Okay, all right. Inflict some bleed and then try to get your stuff back. <sighs> Let's give this a go. Good shot. Wow. No good. A, it clashed. That was pretty good. Throw some bleed. Throw some no more bleed. Okay. We are getting some fire going, though. And landing some hits. Okay. Interesting, interesting. That's going to them. Can't be avoided. Level slash 5 to 9, 5 to 8. Prod the weakness, I think. That's all you can do this turn. On rush, 14 to 26. You could use the graded shockwave, but it wouldn't do much for you. 9 to 20. That's your best bet. Upstanding Slash. And only Bina could contest it. We're very much going to be relying on her, aren't we? But as we recall from the, um... As we were... Sorry, my brain has stopped for a moment. As we recall from what happened previously... Uh... Kali is stronger than Bina. Just about. And then this is not actually old Bina. It's former Arbiter Bina. Incomplete Arbiter, which means she's not quite as strong as she was before. See if you can slow her down. And then frontal assaults keep... Well, I mean, I don't know if you actually need to do that right now. Really slow her down. Although you're not going to gain any emotion, or at least not much this turn, so just frontal assault and see what you can do. You can't do anything, and you're going to be hitting her in the back, so... Burning Flash. Okay, we do get three floors to do this with. Hey, that did work. Ah. Good. Good, good. Things are being done. Damage is being done. Her resistances aren't that high at the moment, so that actually helps. Vade dice gain one to two power. I'm going to give Eternally Lit Lamp to Lamarcus, because I think with Singular Strike, he might be able to contest some things. 
They've lost a speed die, that's handy. I mean, Lamarcus has no choice but to contest some of this stuff. In fact, Lamarcus is going to get hit. Do it there. I want you to use unlock on there. This can be intercepted, so we we gonna, basically. Will the prescripts there. We can't intercept that, so just don't fucking worry about it. Dagger press. It would be helpful to try and get the unlocked um, blade prowess shit going as soon as possible. That could work. Give it a go. Integrated fairy there. Give it a try. That failed. <laughs> that failed. That succeeded. Okay, that's something. That's good. Good, good, good. These are some real fucking clashes. Oh god. These are some clashes. This is some fighting. Oh, blade unlocks. There it is. Good stuff. She's almost staggered, but when she manifests her ego, I bet she gets all of it back. God damn. God damn. Oh, that was scary. Oh, I don't like the noises. <laughs> Who's using evade die? It's one of these two for sure because they have, um, you know, they have the, uh, the, the, the drawing, the drawing one, the one that draws. Neither of them have it right now, but they could do. Give it to you. Oh no, the music shifted, which means... Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, we're in there now, aren't we? And you don't have any uh, light. Yes, yes, you don't. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a thing. Try that, that's your best bet. And then frontal assault to try and get some of your light back. Or just go all in on eating hits and use multi-slash to get it all back. I actually think that'd be the better bet. Yuzu need to focus on that for sure. Bina is in, as the kids say, big trouble. Yes, yes she is. This ain't gonna go well, but use sharpen blade. It intercepts one attack. Lamarcus is probably going to get staggered. Look. If Lamarcus is going to get staggered, then let it be on that. We give Bina more of a chance to retaliate. Did you manifest your ego? I don't know if you're there yet. No, because you're not at 350 HP. This isn't even manifested ego. I think she just gained more emotion. On the other hand, if we just focus on doing a fuck ton of damage, this will go in our favor eventually. Wow. That staggered her. That was perfect. Oh my god, that actually helped immensely. I wasn't looking at a stagger. I didn't notice. We can't get her below 350, but the situation is still decent. And now she's going to manifest ego. Oh, boy. Oh, no. <laughs> Riffs! Okay, let me just... Uh, I'm counting on you. Give me the strength to tear my foes apart. Now, let's just have a quick look, shall we? They've gone full um, JRPG for this soundtrack, yes. Can use Great Split Horizontal Dice Power plus 2, take stagger damage if the character fails to deal 40 plus damage every scene. This effect is disabled upon becoming staggered, and she gains strength and enduring. Okay then, alright then, okay then, alright then, let's see what you got. Oh fuck. 
Can't believe you've done this. <laughs> 28 to 42. We're not even, we can't match that. Not even close. Yeah, not even close. Not even Bina can do that. Uh, I don't know. Do your best, lads. Fucking hell. On use effects do apply, so we may as well try and harness some of that. Because we're not going to beat that. Not for shit. You're going to get staggered. Almost guaranteed. Oh, boy. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. <sighs> Try Burning Slash. See if you can stop him. Upstanding Slash. Prod the weakness. Okay. Okay, well, you have to clash this. Oh, good. You are almost guaranteed to take this hit. Okay, well, if that's the way of things, then... At the very least, make the next turn go better. Hopefully she doesn't use uh, mass attacks every fucking turn. 37! Oh. That's good. That's good. You're fucking dead, buddy. Oh my god, you're still alive. Don't know. Oh, right, because the blade had Kim. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. That's good. The audio in the game is freaking out because it can't keep up with what's going on. You need to contest that. Yes, you do. 3 to 8, 3 to 8, 4 to 9, 3 to 8, 3 to 7, 3 to 7. You're going to need to take a bit of a hit there. And then you can come in to deal with level slash. Yes, you can. Okay, yes, you can. Create a split vertical. Cosporcus, my guy. You're dealing with that. Providence, you have to deal with this. And I'm pretty sure... Using my brilliant tactical brain, I can confirm... You're probably going to get staggered. That's your best bet, I'm afraid. It is. It is your best bet to deal with that. And an upstanding slash can be dealt with. All die, all pages will gain power. Try a multi slash. Restore light if you can. That's all you've got. Okay, lads, give it a go. That's unfortunate, but it did work out pretty decently in the end. That's good. That's decent. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ugh. Ugh. Staggered, yeah. Yeah, that would happen. Yes, it would. Oh. Everyone is staggered. Except for you two. Don't tell me you're using a fucking good. Oh, but you've got great split vertical, don't you? Oh, you fucker. Okay. Lamarcus, my guy, burning flash is your best fucking bet. And I don't like your odds. I'm just... I don't. I don't like your odds. Will of the Prescript is your best bet on that chance. Uh, as... F you can't intercept that. But Lamarcus can. Blow the sword. There we go. Okay. I want you to try flesh, eh? Because if you can stagger her, that might be what saves us. Otherwise, oh boy, Bean is probably going down this turn. 
but Providence will live. There it is. Ah, it did nothing. It did nothing. Oh, no. Yeah, that's about right. That's about right. Yeah, it's just Providence now. It's a 1v1. And you're using Greater Split. Uh Providence, buddy, I love you, but I just don't think you've got what it takes. Not here. Try and prod the weakness. Your goal now is to do as much damage as you physically can. Now, it occurs to me the game really is actually trying to give me a chance by um, giving me three floors to work with, and now I very much see why they did that. Yeah, that was 45 to 24. Yeah. Wait, no, 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 not yet, please. <laughs> that definitely wasn't a pushover, yeah. I'm sorry, Providence. I shouldn't laugh, but it was really funny. Okay. Well, Cali is significantly weakened. Manifested on the second scene, so we will have one scene to do as much damage as we can. Yeah, we're going to need some new pages. Can't do it like that. Okay, that's fine. This means I need to set up two floors right now, because if this floor falls, and it's distinctly possible that they will, we need to be ready. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I've assembled pages. I've assembled them for the two remaining floors I plan to use, uh, provided that that is necessary. And considering the fact that I can't really make use of passive attributions and I can't take away from the stuff that was used on the floor of philosophy, these are not good. And that's not me being humble and like, oh no, Foreman, they're probably good. You're just, you know, get, not giving yourself enough credit. No, they're not good, okay? They're not going to do as much damage as the floor of philosophy did. Straight up. It's just not going to happen. But I'm hoping that these will be enough. She's, most of her health is gone. There are five of us in this team. All we need to do is swing at her. We don't even have to fight fair. We don't really have to fight. We just need to beat her. Yeah, this is Nikolai's pick. This is Nikolai? Did I do this? Yeah, I did change it, didn't I? Yeah, fair enough. Okay, yeah, but you got Nikolai's page. I set up a um, singleton version of what I like with a more defensive focus. Don't know if it'll work. It's untested. Ro Lorelei has Rose's page because it was one of the few big ones I had left that had passive attributions already attached to it. Once again, singleton with its focus on charge with rip space because I love it. Lane has... Um, Emma's page with a massive focus on blunt attacks, hoping that'll do something. I don't know. Ast Rickley has the unstable page of the crying children with no extra passive attributions because I couldn't apply any. With fire. Wait. What? Jesus Christ, it's a good thing I went back over this because I set up a singleton and almost didn't singleton. So, uh, yeah, that's lucky. Okay, let me quickly change that. Okay, I guess. I don't know, it'll probably work. And if it gets to that state, then I will show you guys the floor of languages because that'll be the last one we attempt to do. But, yeah, all we need to do is just swing at her a whole bunch. Our emotions are up. This is bad. Yeah, so you're the trials this place has to present to me. Yeah. Red mist in her past glory still feels unreal. Now, luckily, she only has three speed die at the moment and isn't using her mass attacks. Lane, you have to contest this. Fortunately, the music is fucking bumping, I tell you. You can land some hits, I'm sure. Roland could intercept that if need be. Would he be better for it? Maybe. Do that. And Lorelei, you have to contend with this. Emotional turbulence, give it a go. Scratch that. Energy shield, just mitigate the damage. Then, multi slash to get more stuff. Oh, I'd love to use that right now, but I can't. I'll play it nice and chill for now. New multi slash, it's good. And then high kick because, yeah, why not? And then you multi slash. 
restore light, uh, I'm just I'm gonna do my best. Really, the key is to just do as much damage as we physically can as quickly as possible. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think it'll be that bad. Her resistances aren't that high, but she is gonna manifest ego next turn, so we need to be ready for that. As ready as we can be. That went surprisingly well. That was expected, but went reasonably well. That was should have gone better. I'm just putting it out there. Oh, I, for I forgot she had a fucking counter die. <sighs> Lisa's gone. At least she's burning. But now she's going to manifest ego. <laughs> oh, no. And yeah, she's using greater split horizontal. Which we're not going to contest, and there's almost no point trying, actually. Okay, yes, that's just going to Rick asterisk Okay, that's what I wanted to know. It was confusing me. Um, okay. Forming Storm would actually be my best bet, but I can't do it. So, honestly, looking at this, I say we just eat that hit. Just fucking eat the hit. Eat the hit from Greater Split, because we're not going to beat it. And there is no point trying. Really, Asterix Lee is the only person who should try. You do gain power to your offensive die this turn. Oh, the rifts are so good. Okay, do your best, Ass. Like, really, just do your best. She does gain a slash die. To defend herself with, and it's quite strong. So you need to use concentration to contest it. And in most cases, there is actually no point trying to like. There's no point using this die because it's gonna get destroyed. So don't bother. Bulky impacts. Okay, all right. We're just doing our best right now. Steel knuckles. Frontal, frontal assault. Everyone prepare to take a big hit, because it's a 38. Youch. And you are not staggered, surprisingly. Oh my god. At least it's gone now. Doing hits, landing damage, doing things. We're just not really getting a uh, 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 fucking uh, 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 light or, or emotions. We're not getting emotions. I have some emotions. That could be useful. Give it to Lorelei. Those two are staggered. I'm not even sure how that happened. Fortunately, she doesn't currently have a lot of um, die available to her, or at least not a lot of lights to play with. Level slash, huh? Lorelei, fend her off. That's an order. <laughs> That's a fucking order. Fend her off. I can't intercept any of her cards, making my defensive focus useless. But surely there are other things I can do. Fuck it, I'm going to try. I'm going to try for that. I don't think it'll work, but I'm going to try. So you're using upstanding slash. He's 7 to 11 and 6 to 11. I like those odds. That's all you've got. This is all we've got. Lane is going to get hurt. It's okay, you're alive. You're not. She just gained power, I realize. Somehow you managed to survive that. I'm still alive. Okay, who doesn't have any cards? Who doesn't have any cards? Oh. Oh, I'll give it to you. We have done some damage. 8 to 20, mass individual. Fucking do it. Actually, do that with this, because it will go first anyway, probably because it's mass individual. Can you save anyone? 
Me? 5 to 8, 4 to 8. I'm sure you can deal with that. I say sure, I'm not actually that sure. Try Will of the Prescript, I suppose. It won't stagger you. Level Slash. Try for Sturdy Defense. On Rush. Lorelei's Charge is at 10. Thing is, rip space. Right, the first attack would only gain. Will only gain eight. Right, so uh, it will go up to um, ten. Ten twelve, which is too low to deal with on rush. Uh, the second one would go up. Still be too low, really. Yeah, that's. Lorelai, your best bet is to try and block it, and then see if you can rip space. You should try and unlock. Just... Just do damage. If she dies, we win. I probably should have equipped Lowell's page. That would have looked cooler. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, Lorelai's gone. Ah! Why does Onrush keep going? I didn't read the card. Why did you attack me twice? How long does this go on for? Too long. Yeesh. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. Flora Languages is going to need to really focus on doing damage. Fitting, I suppose. But I didn't want things to turn out this way. You guys. Need to end this. This turn. The one person I know better than anyone. Yeah, I know the least about at the same time. You guys need to end this. Oh god, Onrush. If target is defeated or staggered, use this page again on a random enemy. So we got really unlucky with that, basically. <laughs> I regret this immediately. Once per scene, respond to a one-sided attack with a block die. You know what? That would be better. That would be straight up better. This will get countered, but what else can you do exactly? I cannot stress how much I need you guys to do damage this turn. And even then, I fear it won't be enough. That did mitigate. That was fucking incredible. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's what I expected. Big hits. That's not good. That is. She's going down. Bit by bit. Just a little bit more. And some big hits. Okay, we can do eight damage this turn, surely. Ah... <laughs> We can surely do it. Oh. That might just kill Geb outright. That might just kill Geb outright. But remember. Use Gale Kick. That is the best chance we have to block that attack. No. But don't do it that way. Instead, hit her with it. Spear. Will the prescript. That's all you've got. If Geb survives this turn, which I doubt, 
Use faint memories. All you guys need to do is land eight damage. In fact, less than that because she's bleeding. Yeah, see, uh, yeah. Oh, God, staggers. Uh, there it is. Jax is just like me. How did... Sounds like a skill issue to me. Go on, Kiwi. <laughs> kiwi, 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 Kiwi. Can I just uh, take a moment to acknowledge what just happened there? Kiwi, Kiwi... Stole, snuck in the final hit on the red mist... Killed her and said, sounds like a skill issue to me. <laughs> Kiwi just accused the red miss of having a skill issue. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. Kiwi, Kiwi, my dude, you've shot right up the fucking rankings. <laughs> Let it be known, ladies and gentlemen. Why did Callie die? Why did why did Callie fail to protect the facility? Skill issue. Skill issue. <laughs> Fucking skill issue. <laughs> I can't believe I won that. I'm so glad I don't have to fight that again. I'm so glad I don't have to fight that again. I got unlocked blades. That's cool. They got nothing. Interesting. Okay, well, we can burn as many red mist books as we like, so it's fucking amazing. Yep. So it was created by someone's gruesome death, but whose? 그럼 옷은? 그건... Huh. <laughs> I mean, it did. Yeah, one's based on nothing there. That's a little bit more advanced. Which made her a special case. Of course, that's what I keep forgetting. She's not actually literally wielding nothing there. It's a prototype based off of nothing there. That's what I keep forgetting. I wonder, because back in... Uh, no, because that was when she was Gebra. Never mind, never mind. That's a completely incorrect memory thought I had. Don't worry about it. Yeah, it hit quite hard, didn't it? That's good. Yeah, it's true. I don't think that would have worked. Just putting that out there immediately. I think this would be disastrous. Yeah, but everyone has the power. That's too much. Yep, you did that. Interesting. So you get your massive power boost, and then if you still lose, uh, distortion. <laughs> so that's why Pillip as a distortion is kind of a wuss. Or at least was a wuss, we don't know what he's like now. Well, there have been many distortions. 
지금 도시는 환상체나 에고를 발현한 자들로 뒤덮여 있어야 하잖아. Just like that ending we saw of Lopko. 그래서 말했잖아. 자신이 진정으로 원하는 거라고. 그런 말은 되네. 도시에서 자신을 위한 꿈을 꾸는 사람은 드물지. But I thought everyone dreamed for themselves. I thought that was the point. 행복보다는 적어도 불행하지 않은 oh, 삶을 생각으로 사니까. Yeah, that makes more sense. Fair enough. Fair enough. 날개, 조직, 배결사. 모두 어디론가 달려도 목적지는 자신이 정한 게 아닐 거야. 철저히 자신을 위해 살아가는 이기적인 사람만이 그 힘을 얻을 수 있을 거야. I'm not sure that's quite accurate. 이기주의자. Egoists. 뭐? 자격도 안된 놈들이 힘을 얻는 것보다는 이 방식이 더 마음에 들어. I mean, I see a point, but 넌 그럼 이렇게 될줄 알고 그 계획을 막은 거야? No, she had no idea. I'm pretty sure she had no idea. 설마. 난 그냥 죽기 싫었을 뿐이야. 살아서 복수하고 싶었어. 그뿐이야. 계획이 끝나는 대로 난 정지할 예정이었거든. 너무 억울했어. 그래서 빛을 빼앗고 받아들였지. 웃기게도 빼앗은 빛이 완전하지 않아서 환상체와 함께 도서관에 갇혔지만. Ironic. 난 기계의 몸에 새겨진 명령에 따라 이곳을 벗어날 수 없었어. I thought it was because of the, we can't exist outside the library. 그렇다면 책과 초대장은 뿌려진 빛을 다시 거두는 과정이야. Right. 너라면 눈치챘을 거야. 이곳에 오는 손님들은 뭔가 다르다고. 내가 아는 도시 사람들과 다르게 뭔가 꿈이라는 게 있었지. Ah, everyone had a goal. 묘하게 정에 휘둘리기도 하고. 빛에 의해 영향을 받은 사람들인 거야. 그것도 강하게 받은 사람들. I see. 빛의 중심에 더 가까이 있다의 개념인 거야? 아니. 빛은 모든 사람에게 똑같은 영향을 줬지만 그 중에서도 더 강하게 키울 잠재력을 지닌 사람이 있어. And this is why we have to fight the strongest people, and the people more likely to manifest ego. 초대장은 그 사람들을 가장 필요한 순간에 도서관의 손님으로 초대하고 있던 거고. 그리고 불완전한 빛을 긁어모으다 보면 초대장의 끝은 완전한 빛의 힘이 담긴 Sign to sound like a religion 단 하나의 책이 되길 기대하고 있어 그 책에 따라 나와 이곳 사서는 자유를 얻겠지 그리고 인간으로도 살아갈 수 있어 기계답게 살라는 말 따위 듣지 않아도 돼 잊고 싶은 것을 잊고 살수 있어 그 과정과 결과에 대해 별다른 책임감이나 죄악감 같은 건 없겠네. 당연하지. 전부 자신의 손으로 거머질 수밖에 없는 거야. 난내 것만 소중히 여기며 살아갈 거고. 놀라? 네가 말했듯이 전부 각자의 사정이라는 게 있으니까 빼앗긴 쪽이 나쁜 거지. It's true. 뭐지? 자신만을 위해 살아. 비나 is now available. Fucking finally, she's going to start pulling her fucking weight. Took her long enough. Does she still have that combat page? Yes, she does. It cannot be replaced or swapped. Incomplete arbiter. I imagine she can't use that forever. Or I imagine she'd just get outclassed after a while and we'd have to swap it out, but this is still very good. Can we give her passive attributions? Mm, yes. Interesting. Okay, so we can make her stronger. To some degree. Geb, I gotta ask. I gotta ask, Geb. Where's your fucking patron book? Where's your librarian book? Oh, we still haven't unlocked the red mist. Unfortunate, but oh well. Attain the- Oh god, yeah, we need to burn that book, don't we? Jesus, yeah, the Book of the Red Mist. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. I almost forgot. Ah! Surely, 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 this will unlock it. Or, or anyway, it would be pointless because surely she could just use this instead. I don't know. But maybe the uh, locks thing on her page implies that she could become something greater than the Red Mist? 
Oh, are you telling me she doesn't get 700 health? What bullshit. This game is garbage. Zero out of ten. What a load of fucking crap. That is an exceptionally powerful card, potentially. Okay, well, let's go and... Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, oh, can equip the Red Mist's key page. That's a special passive attribution. Okay. Red, well, I mean, literally Geb is the only one who can equip it, and, like, why wouldn't you? Now, I obviously have, you know, set the passive attribution to her thing. There it is! There it is, she's back! Oh boy, she's back. Cool. Now, let's have a look at what we've got here. Only Gebra can equip this. Unique Ego becomes accessible. Emotion level 4 or above. The combat page Manifest Ego is added to hand once per act. Gain a counter die slash force 8 at combat start. Choose the speed dice to the lowest value. The speed dice values of the chat dice change to the maximum possible value and an extra speed dice. So there are things we could do here. Her cards are amazing, but aren't necessarily the only ones you'd have to use. For instance, just throwing out examples here. At emotion level 4 or above, the combat page Manifest Ego is added to hand. So, you could, just throwing it out there, go with, say, All Out War, and Inner Ardor to just get emotion going as quickly as possible. Just start making it happen in order to get to emotion level 4. You could give her fervor, so that when she gets to emotion level 4, she's actually getting buffed for it. There's a lot you can potentially do there. Kiwi! Kiwi, you, you son of a bitch! <laughs> I love you, Kiwi! Yeah, that feels appropriate. Yeah, that feels appropriate for Kiwi now. Stand with the posture you've earned! You absolute legend! <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna end for today. Uh, Bina and Geb both have, um abnormalities to deal with, I'm sure either the next abnormality Geb has to deal with is going to be nothing there or nothing there will come from the um, the realization of the floor. There is no way nothing there is not on the floor of languages. I don't buy it for a fucking second. That's going to happen and we'll have to deal with it when it does. Bina's next one will be Judgment Bird, I'm pretty sure. So there's that as well. A lot of interesting things next time. And then we can move on to the next one, and so much, someone told me to do this floor, or sorry, this uh, act, with Geb, with the Floor of Languages, so we'll get an opportunity to really try this out on a reception next time, but that'll be next time. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. It has been four hours, and it's been quite an ordeal for me, but it's been a very fucking cool episode. A lot of cool things happened today. Cool things for cool people. What a cool game. Thank you so much for watching. Special thanks to MB Alias, Ye Old Man River, Lord Skullington, Jessica Kitty, Aris, Plutonium Pie, Dreamer Ghost, Leper Lullaby, K Bub, Magic Hell, Payton Barrett Hill, The Frostbite, Monsoon, Sir World, Jumping with Joy, Warmaster Oku, SCP 106A, Namad, and Kenny T800 for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much, guys, and thank you all so much for watching. This was eventful. Next time will be eventful, I'm pretty sure. Because, like, you know, two abnormality suppressions won't be enough to make an entire video unless they're exceptionally hard, which means there will be a reception and it will probably be that one that I was supposed to use Gem for. And then, just generally, things are kicking off in terms of the reception, so things are getting a lot more interesting. Where the fuck? Oh boy. I've got some things I'm going to need to look at, for sure. But that's then, this is now. Thank you. We are up to next time. It will be those things, and I hope I see you there. Toodles. Goodbye.